Whether you're hopping on a powerful fishing vessel and heading deep offshore, or you're exploring the flats and back country, it won't take you long to discover exactly why fishing in Key West is the stuff of legends. In our last video, you got to hear from our local captains, learn where some of the best fishing spots are, and find out what types of fishing trips you can go on. In this video, we'll tell you exactly what you can catch, show you some of our anglers amazing prizes, and share when and how you can go about claiming one of your own. Just one thing before we start, make sure you're hitting those like and subscribe buttons below to keep up to date on all the latest angling videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. Excellent year-round weather and its position at the crossroads of the Caribbean, the Gulf, and the Atlantic make Key West a true all-seasons fishing destination. And this couldn't be more true in its inshore waters. During the winter months, the backcountry is where it's at. This is your opportunity to take home redfish and spotted sea trout without the peak season crowds. If you are here during peak season though, you're in luck. The inshore fishing in Key West really takes off in the spring and summer. If you're looking to secure an IGFA inshore grand slam by landing bonefish, tarpon, and permit in a day's work, spring, and especially the months of May and June, give you your best shot. As the weather and waters continue to heat up, you'll also have your best chances of landing delicious snapper varieties, including mangrove, mutton, and yellowtail. As sad as you might be to see the summer go, the fall and start to winter bring about different and exciting fishing opportunities. You'll get a second wind of permit and bonefish, and hard-fighting Jack Creval will take you over the flats to show you just how versatile the fishing can be. Plus, there's the possibility to land sharks year-round. Believe it or not, most of the inshore sharks you can find in Florida's waters are quite timid, making them an excellent target for beginners and even kids. Just remember to be mindful of local rules and regulations and practice catch and release whenever possible. Some of the best inshore fisheries in Key West include the Marquesa Island Flats, the backcountry around Sugarloaf Key, and the Bahia Honda Bridge. But if you really want to get the most out of your fishing experience, gear up with a local captain who knows where to go and what to catch. This will maximize your time on the water and your chances of landing that dream fish. All right, now that you've had your fill on inshore fishing in Key West, it's time to set your sights on deeper waters. It's Hemingway who made the island of Key West famous with his stories of giant marlin, and he wasn't wrong when he described these fish as the perfect opponent. And it just so happens that a mere 20 miles from Key West's shores is the best spot in all of Florida to fish for blue marlin. If you're hoping to write yourself into the history books, the best time to set out towards the wall is between April and October. You might also come across white marlin during the warmer months in that time period. Another billfish you can target in Key West's deep waters is sailfish. They're the fastest fish in the ocean and some of the most rewarding to catch. It'll be a hard fight to get that perfect picture, but it's more than worth it. To secure this fish, plan your trip between November and January or April and early May when they begin their migration. Blackfin tuna will arrive around the same time as the sailfish do in the fall and stick around until April. They're a very welcome addition to the Key West winter angling scene, and not only on account of their excellent flavor, but also the versatility with which you can catch them. For an extra challenging experience, sight cast for them on the fly. Rounding out our list of the big game pelagic species you can find in Key West's waters are Mahi Mahi and Wahoo. If you're looking for an all around excellent fish to target, look no further than Mahi. Not only are they delicious, but they also fight hard and will gobble up just about any bait. To get fillets on the table, hit the waters from May through to September. And finally, Wahoo. This fast and unpredictable species can technically be found in Key West's deep waters year round, but winter anglers targeting them as they move towards the reefs between November and February will have the best luck. You didn't think we forgot about snapper and grouper, did you? The numerous reefs and wrecks surrounding Key West don't disappoint when it comes to catching these sought after table fair fish. Gag, black, and red are key targets for anglers seeking grouper, and they can be caught during the state's open season. It's usually open from early summer to around the end of the year, but can vary depending on quotas. As for snapper, before those mutton move into the flats, you'll find large schools of them as they gather to spawn near the reefs. You'll also find schools of delicious yellowtail snapper at depths between 30 and 120 feet during midsummer. By now, it should be pretty clear why Key West takes the top spot on so many anglers' bucket lists. 
With such a wide variety of species in its hospitable waters, there's a great fish to target at any time of the year. But with great fishing comes great responsibility. Before you set out on your trip, you'll need to make sure you're following the local rules and regulations and ensure you're doing what you can to keep the fisheries thriving. First on the list is getting a fishing license. You won't have to worry about this if you're heading out with a licensed charter captain, but if you're fishing on your own and you're between the ages of 16 and 65, you'll need to buy one. You can find detailed price breakdowns and explanations of the different license types on our blog. As for species regulations, remember that tarpon and snook are catch and release only. Jack Revals and bonefish are known only for their fight, so it's best to release those too. The same goes for most sharks, plus they're heavily regulated in Florida and very useful predators for the ecosystem, so practice catch and release whenever possible. Most of the pelagic species mentioned in the video aren't subject to closed seasons, but there are size and bag limits you have to follow, so it's always best to consult with your captain before deciding what to keep and what to put back. And that's it! You're officially prepared for this year's fishing season in Key West. To book the fishing charter that's right for you and the trip you're planning, download the Fishing Booker app. It's available on Google Play and the App Store and allows you to browse the largest selection of fishing charters in Key West, compare prices and amenities, and book fast and easy. Or check us out online at fishingbooker.com to start planning your Key West fishing trip today.